Hello everyone! Today we will have a new lesson about AVR and UPS. Is the role of automatic voltage regulator or AVR and uninterruptible power supply UPS the same? With more and more electrical equipment on the market, the range of use of voltage regulator and UPS power supply is very wide and many feel that the two can replace each other. However, there is a difference between the voltage regulator and the UPS power supply. Many people always mistakenly believe that the voltage regulator is a UPS. The following introduces the differences between automatic voltage regulator and uninterruptible power supply from several aspects. The automatic voltage regulator or AVR AVR is designed for the unstable voltage of the power grid, mainly for the protection of the back-end equipment and the protection function of the equipment is more complete. Generally, Large UPS power supply must also be equipped with a voltage stabilization bypass system or voltage stabilizer. The role of the voltage regulator is very wide and it can be used wherever electricity is needed. Of course, the premise is that the voltage is unstable. The voltage stabilizer is composed of voltage regulating circuit control circuit, and servo motor. When the input voltage or load changes, the control circuit performs sampling, comparison, and amplification, and then drives the servo motor to rotate to change the position of the carbon brush of the automatic voltage regulator. The coil turns ratio is automatically adjusted to maintain the stability of the output voltage. An automatic voltage regulator is an electronic device or circuit that maintains an output voltage to be consistent to its load current. This is necessary because the voltage delivered to your home and mine may sometimes fluctuate, which can cause serious damages to your appliance if not completely destroying it. Fluctuations in power are brought about by so many factors. Some of these may be poor power regulations, electrical surges due to lightning, and many others. An AVR, however, has a servo mechanism inside that hence the accurate voltage when surges happen in order to maintain the needed voltage level that ultimately protects your appliance. What are the types of the AVR? An AVR is located in more than one place in your home. You see it in the living room beside the plasma TV. You see it in your room beside your desktop computer. And you see it in the kitchen beside the refrigerator. At the office, you see it in each working station beside their computers. It somehow became a general knowledge to buy it together with an appliance people value. And everyone also makes it a point to turn it on first before using the appliance plug into it. In general, there are two types of an automatic voltage regulator. One is the relay type and the other is the servo motor type. A relay type ABR makes use of electronic circuitry like relays and semiconductors to regulate the voltage. A servo motor type ABR on the other hand uses a magnetic core with a motorized servo mechanism to regulate the voltage. The servo mechanism is one responsible in switching connections 
in order to maintain the acceptable voltage. Durability-wise, a servo motor type ABR is better than a relay type as it can withstand voltage fluctuation better than the solid state relay type, which may easily get damaged. Let's talk about uninterruptible power supply or UPS. Uninterruptible power supply is divided into online UPS power supply and backup UPS power supply. Generally, home computers are equipped with backup UPS power supply, which belongs to a type of backup power supply. The backup type is with a voltage stabilizing part and uses a relay to shift and stabilize pressure made. The effect of voltage regulation is very poor, cannot be regarded as a voltage regulator. From the name of an interruptible power supply, it can be seen that it is actually a reserve power supply. When the power is cut off, the electrical energy stored by the battery is output through the inverter to output AC current to power the equipment. The backup UPS power supply is usually from the time interval for the host to switch to the backup power supply will not exceed 10 milliseconds. The online UPS power supply has no switching time, so the power failure will hardly have any impact on the power equipment. An interruptible power supply or an interruptible power source is an electrical apparatus that provides emergency power to a load when the input power source or mains power fails. A UPS differs from an auxiliary or emergency power system or a standby generator in that it will provide near instantaneous protection from input power interruptions by supplying energy stored in batteries, supercapacitors, or flywheels. The on-battery runtime of most uninterruptible power sources is relatively short, but sufficient to start a standby power source or properly shut down the protected equipment. It is a type of continual power system. How about the types of the UPS? During power surge and failures, an interruptible power supply devices keep computer systems and IT equipment safe and operational. An uninterruptible power supply provides battery backup power when the flow of electricity drops to an inadequate voltage or if it stops. An interrupted power source is vital for the mission-critical environment. Depending on the size and technology of the UPS unit, backup power is provided for a specific period of time until generators can be activated or network components can be properly shut down. When electricity flows adequately, Computers and accessories are protected from damage. A UPS unit can help to shield a single device or an entire data center effectively. With three main types of uninterruptible power supplies, UPS systems are available to accommodate a complete range of applications. They meet enterprise and consumer needs. A standby UPS is an offline unit that can detect an electrical failure and switch the battery power automatically. The two other UPS categories are line interactive and online devices, with online being the more expensive option. Each type of UPS keeps network devices operational when power is unbelievable. 
features such as energy metering vary by model. What is an offline or standby UPS? The basic standby UPS is an interruptible power source that delivers short-term battery source power during outages. With this category of UPS, hardware receives utility power under normal conditions through a direct AC connection. The standby unit and its inverter are essentially on hold until backup power is needed. Depending upon the model, a standby UPS device can also safeguard data and sensitive equipment from surges, spikes, and dips. Compact devices are available for home network protection. A standby UPS is commonly used to protect computers, modems, VOIP equipment, and other hardware. This category of UPS is the least expensive of the three UPS types. The next UPS type is the online or double conversion UPS. An online UPS is a type of an interruptible power supply that utilizes either a double or delta conversion technology. With double conversion, network equipment does not receive electricity direct from the AC outlet. Instead, AC power travels to a rectifier where it becomes DC power. Next, it travels to the battery and then an inverter. After inversion back to AC, the power is delivered to equipment. With this online UPS device process, computing equipment receives continually clean power with delta conversion, a certain amount of power is sent to run computers, routers, and other equipment directly. This creates an, an energy-efficient online UPS system where some of the power skips the processing steps. And last type of the UPS, the line interactive UPS. It is one type of an interruptible power source that can regulate voltage automatically. The line interactive technology responds to high and low voltage conditions. Units also support systems during outages without battery drainage. With the line interactive UPS, the electrical source is the first line of power. However, an inverter or converter technology allows for the unit's battery to be charged throughout normal operations. During an outage, this uninterruptible power supply converts battery power to AC flow for device delivery. That's all the ideas or discussion about the ABR and UPS. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.